Good morning, grade twos. So this morning, I have a very funky party hat on top of my head. And that is because there are some of you that might have had to celebrate your birthday during lockdown. You haven't been able to celebrate either at school with your friends or had a party to celebrate. So we are going to celebrate together today. So grade twos, if you have any questions today, ask mommy or daddy. And they can send an email to grade two at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and get back to you with your answers as soon as possible. So my name is teacher Taryn and we are going to do grade two maths together today and we are going to do fractions. So welcome to our party and at our party we've got some treats, we've got a cake here in the middle with some birthday candles, We've got a slab of chocolate, we've got some sweets here around the side, we've got lots of delicious treats to enjoy today. And here my friend Susan, she's arrived a little bit early, so I think we should share some of our treats with her. I think it's only fair that we break this chocolate up, so Susan can get some of the chocolate and I can get some of the chocolate. So here I have one whole chocolate. And there we go, I've split the chocolate into two parts. I've shared it, so there's a part for Susan, and there's a part for me. But as soon as I broke it up and I gave it to Susan, Susan didn't look very happy. She looked quite disappointed. And I think I know why. I think it's because I didn't share this chocolate equally. I didn't share it in a fair way. Susan got a very small piece. And my piece is much bigger than Susan's. So I think I need to share the chocolate into two equal parts. Okay, there we go. I broke the chocolate down the middle. So Susan is going to get a part. And there's a part for me. So now I've split this chocolate into two parts. Susan is going to get one of the two parts. And I am going to get the other part of the chocolate. And now each piece is exactly the same size. So when I share a whole into equal parts, these parts are called fractions. So my whole over here was one chocolate. And I had to break that chocolate into smaller pieces, into equal parts. And those were called fractions. So a fraction always has a line in the middle. And the number at the bottom of the fraction always tells me how many pieces we broke it into. So we broke the chocolate into two pieces. So the two goes at the bottom of the line. And I got one of the two pieces. So the number at the top is always how many each person has. And I got one and Susan got one. So the one goes at the top of the fraction. So I can read this as one of the two pieces. But I can also give it a different name. And I can say that this is one half. So I got half of the chocolate and Susan got the other half of the chocolate. Okay, so I have some more friends that have arrived. Susan's already here and Mark and Sarah have arrived at the party. So let's put some party hats on them. And we have some treats to share out. So we had some sweets on the table and we're going to give these three sweets to the three friends. There we go, we're going to share those sweets out. Okay, so we had enough sweets, we don't have to break the sweets into smaller parts. So each friend got one whole sweet. There were three friends and three sweets, so there was enough for one for each. But now we've got the birthday cake, and after I can blow out the candles, I'm going to cut this cake so everybody can have some of it. But now, Here's the top of my cake, and there we go, I'm cutting it into slices. Oh, don't you think that's fair? Why not? 
Okay, so one person's going to get one big slice of cake and then the medium sized slice, and one person's going to get the smallest slice, and that, that isn't very fair. But I did share the cake into three parts. But I have one whole cake, and I need to share that cake into three equal parts, because that's the only fair way to share this cake between everybody. So I have to have three equal parts that I share the cake into. And let's see, do I have three slices? One, two, three. Yes, I do. Okay, so here are my three slices. I've cut them and now I can put them on three plates. And there is what they are going to look like. So I've cut my cake into three parts. And each piece is exactly the same size. So here are my friends. They're all sitting waiting for their cake and there are their three slices. So let's share them out. I have three friends and three slices. And there we go. Each one gets a slice of the cake. So this friend over here, Susan, she gets one of the three slices. And my friend here in the middle is going to get one of the three slices. And this friend over here gets one of the three slices. So this fraction is called one third because each friend got one of the three pieces of cake. But grade two is I've made a big mistake because I don't only have three friends at the party. I've forgotten about myself, the fourth person at this party. So I now need to go back to the cake and we need to recut this cake. So here's my cake and I now need four slices. Remember, there are four people at the party. So I need to cut this cake into four equal parts, four equal slices. So there we go. I have one, two, three, four. And there are my four slices. And that's what my four slices will look like. And the more I cut this cake up, the more slices I have, the smaller the slices are going to start getting. So there are my four slices and I've got four people at the party and I'm going to share those four slices between the four people. There we go. So each person got one of the four slices and this fraction is called one quarter. So each of us at the party got one quarter of the cake. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's revise quickly. I started off with one whole cake. If I cut the cake when only Susan had arrived, I would cut that cake into two parts, two slices. And there you can see my cut down the middle. And then each of us would get one of the two pieces or we would get half of the cake each. And if I cut the cake before I remembered that I also needed a slice, I have three pieces of the cake. I have three slices, so each person would get one of the three slices or one third. And then right at the end I remembered that I needed to cut this cake into four slices because there were four of us. And then each person would get one of the four slices or one quarter of this cake. So now we have a very exciting activity at the party. We have a square cake and we are going to put some icing on this cake. But there are some instructions to this. So here is my whole cake. And if I had to put icing on one whole cake, then I would put the pink icing all the way across the entire top of the cake. But if I only had to ice half of this cake, then I would cut this cake into two parts and I would only ice one of the two slices. So there you can see I've only put pink icing on one of the two, on half of the cake. And if I needed to put icing on a third of the cake, I can cut the cake into 
three equal parts. And then I'm only going to put icing on one of the three parts. There you can see I've only got pink icing on one third of the cake. And then one quarter, I'm going to cut the cake into four equal parts. And I'm only going to put icing on one of the four parts. And there we go. I only put pink icing on a quarter. So grade twos, thank you for joining our party today. I hope you had lots of fun. And our party isn't finished because for lunch we are going to have pizza. And you are going to do the activity where you are going to colour in the pizza for our lunch. So if the activity says you need to colour in the whole pizza, then you're going to use your pencil crowns and you're going to colour in all the toppings of that whole pizza. And if the instruction says colour in one quarter of the pizza, then you're only going to colour in one of the four slices that have already been cut. So to all those boys and girls who had a birthday during lockdown, I hope that you enjoyed celebrating at our party today. And I hope that you had a lovely birthday and happy birthday to all of you. So thank you for watching Grade 2s and thank you for coming to our Grade 2 lesson today. And remember that this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Have a lovely afternoon Grade 2s. Goodbye.